Your man said, you work for me, Francis. Boy, what the hell is going on with Dre? Dre really feeling like this is mine. I earned this. I made all this happen because of me. Now, granted, it might seem that way, but let's 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 be honest. Dre, Dre kind of inherited this shit. Not even to sound like if he was Ghost Kid or some shit like that, but think about it. You got the club from Ghost, and you kind of got the connect from dealing with Tommy. You ain't really like nobody introduced you to feel me. I mean, granted, he was introduced to the Jimenez, but at the same time, it's like yo, my nigga, niggas wouldn't be fucking with you if it wasn't for Ghost and Kanan. Now, to Dre's defense, I feel like Dre is the better test subject than Ghost was, as far as Kanan goes. I feel like Kanan made a better... Kanan made... Damn, I ain't trying to sound like, yo, son, who's the better gangster? But if I had to rank the gangsters that Kanan made, I have to... I'm going to put Tariq at the top. Do I really want to put Tariq at the top? Tariq makes a better gangster than Ghost, and I told y'all niggas that shit in the last video. Matter of fact, fuck all that shit. I told y'all niggas, Tariq is the better gangster than Ghost. You think I'm lying? Check my previous video. Yo, is it Tariq's fault? No. That video. Nigga, Tariq plays the better, go better gangster than Ghost. Even Kanan said that. Speaking of playing Ghost, this might be a little too early, but I feel like Ghost... Ghost and... Let me clear this up. Jamie St. Patrick and Tasha St. Patrick's children play a better ghost than ghosts, right? Raina's literally a fucking ghost. So she got that shit hands down. Tariq, on the other hand, Jesus Christ, yo, what's up with y'all niggas talking when this nigga's around, son? Yo, either they don't see him while they saying some hot shit, or they can't hear this little nigga footsteps when they talking some hot shit. Because it happened twice so far now. When he was eavesdropping on Tommy and Keisha, and then when Tommy and Ghost was talking in the church, and he gave Son the heads up. Now, I think the 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 fact that in this shit is Tommy. Tommy just don't know when to shut the fuck up. Speaking of Tommy, feel me? I'm trying to run through this shit. One, two, three, and I get into my character joints later, right? Tommy is out here really running around with his head cut off, my nigga. He don't know what the fuck to do. And it's almost like all this shit is coming down on him too fast. And it's like, yo, Tommy, what the fuck are you really going to do, feel me? You, you're in the trouble with the Italians. You're in the trouble with the Serbians. Nigga, basically, you got beef with the fucking Jimenez, too. You fucking with Dre, so you know how that shit go. The Serbians, on the other hand, funny as hell. Them niggas did die off rip mad quick. Not all of them. The nigga Jason is still lit, and he still got shooters with him in the G5. My thing is, when he pulled up in the G5, why them niggas ain't start dumping? They had to drop. All them niggas was in the car right there. Hand Candy Cane was right there. Ghost with the most. And Tommy, boom, 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 is right there, my nigga. Why didn't they let them shits go? Niggas could have let off a... Nah, if they did let off a warning shot, them niggas would have shot back, and it would have been... It, there would be no more, they say, this is a business. None of that shit, nigga. That shit would have been fucking sad songs, funerals, all that shit, nigga. It would have been two motherfuckers instead of fucking just gold, instead of Raina, nigga. It would have been Ghost and Raina dead as a motherfucker. Moving right along. No, 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 I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving from that scene. I'm not leaving from that scene, all right? I want to know, and please, in the comment section, let me know, my nigga. What the fuck? What? Yo, my nigga, was that a that was a jeans jacket, life jacket, my nigga? Like, son, am I, son, look at the picture, nigga. Look at Kane. Look, look, look. The nigga got on. It looked like a goose down jeans jacket, bubble, bubble shit going on. Like, you throw this nigga in the water, he go money. He gonna be the flyest non drowning nigga in the fucking pool. Big facts, nigga. Big hole, nigga. Speaking of big holes, though, Angela is dirty. Angela should not be trusted. And it all came together in this episode. Like, bitch, you wild dirty. You was using that nigga name. And I was trying to figure out for the longest, who the fuck is D Gaines? You was using this nigga's fucking username and password for the Facebook, bitch? For the whole fucking... T Yo, my nigga. How is that gonna... It's not gonna work. If it does work, it's, it's crazy with the, with the writing. If that shit works. If she's somehow some able way to clean herself up off this shit, my nigga... And it doesn't trace back to her, but son gets fucked up in the end. Son, she's dirty, son. She's wild dirty, son. On top of that, why is she not telling Tasha that ghost ain't her up? 
is it Tasha's business? Maybe. I mean, as far as Tasha's concerned, they both not fucking with Ghost, right? Allegedly. So why she ain't tell Tasha? And why she curving my son Jamie, son? Like, bitch, this nigga is in the time of need right now, son. This nigga's grieving. The fuck are you? Why are you playing the fucking machata, uh, machete, whatever the fuck you want to call that shit? Uh, the mach- yeah, there we go, the machata. Why you want to play the machata with my nigga hard, son? Leave this nigga. You and this nigga used to live in that one room with the fucking kitchen, the bathroom, the the all that shit, the all in one room. So now you don't want to pick up this nigga call. This nigga used to sling your pussy like a fucking rocket launch. But now you don't want to fucking answer this nigga phone. Angie, you a you a dirty motherfucker. Son. You are a dirty motherfucker. And if shit ever hit the fan, I know she gonna turn around on niggas and say, "Yep." Them motherfuckers made me do it. Yo, the worst case with this bitch, son, is if she got that change of heart moment where she just feel wrong. She just feel guilty. Like, everything she did was just, like, she did it in an error because she feel like she's a woman of the law and shit like that. Motherfuckers be having turning moments like that at the wrong motherfucking time, son. And then what happens? This nigga Tariq is an orphan. The little yo, I don't even know the baby's name, my nigga. This, what the fuck is her name? So where is she at, my nigga? I have yet to see the other daughters. So I always hear about this little girl. I don't see this little motherfucker. See another fucking ghost. Ghost kids is a better ghost than this nigga, son. I, yo, shit is crazy. Now they talking about sending this little nigga to choke that fucking school that they were supposed to send them niggas to before all this shit kicked off. I feel like that shit is the worst fucking idea for this little motherfucker. You can't trust this little bastard for shit, son. Yo, my nigga, I'd rather trust a squirrel with my nuts before I trust Tariq with anything in life, my nigga. The nigga's playing everybody. The nigga, I don't know. Who is he doing it for? Is he out for Dolo? Like, does he give a fuck about anybody? Uh, in the end, is it just all about Tariq? Because that nigga's moving in a way, son... I tell you, man, that shit is nasty, son. You kind of moving like a cannon, son. Speaking of cannon, what the fuck is up with this nigga and Tommy? Like, it looked like he want to get this nigga out the picture ASAP, son. Like, he trying to in- he trying to instigate some shit with ghosts in the car. And he like, nigga, nigga, we all wouldn't be sitting here right now if it wasn't for Tommy. And he telling his homeboys, like, that nigga is trying to get Tommy and the other nigga and like, yo, what the fuck is going on? What's up with K- Why is Kanan so dead set on Tommy? He must not like the Italians or some shit. You know what I mean? Can't call them Italians, nigga. Clearly, we're saying it wrong. They're Italians, feel me? That's what Tommy says. You know, he's a Teresi. Teresi, he's an Italian, feel me? So, the niggas is Italians, you know what I mean? But it feel like Kanan got something serious against some niggas. Like, I don't know. It, not even them niggas, just Tommy. So he want to get this nigga out the picture for real. But does he feel that way for Ghost also? I don't know, son. That circle of trust between them niggas is very, very thin. Son. I just know it's going to pop off, but who's going to remain standing or some shit? I mean, it's going to be two out of the three, or is it just going to be one? I know it ain't going to be all three of the motherfuckers when this season's over, my nigga. Kanan got the fucking the jeans jacket life vest, nigga, like. Nigga, they gonna they gonna they gonna put this nigga in the water. Feel me? He gonna be good money. You know what's ill? I feel like the reason why he got that goddamn life floating device is because he said to himself, "You know what, Ghost? You burned the shit out of me before, but now if you drown me, motherfucker, I'm prepared, nigga. I got this motherfucker jeans jacket, life bubble vest on, nigga. I jump in the water, nigga. Watch me float, bitch." But aside from that, the episode was good money. I mean, there was some points where I felt like, damn, Dre, are you going to fucking stand up and claim your title as a man or what, nigga? Because this nigga, the Jimenez nigga, the, the brother, yo, that nigga is crazy. That nigga, not crazy on, well, he crazy that way too, but that nigga tripping. This nigga had son, like, watching this nigga while he was fucking bitches, and then he felt like Dre had to fuck some bitch, like, right now type shit. I never seen no, like, no... Mon- monkey, monkey, see, monkey, do shit. I never seen no shit like that before. Well, not with ghosts and them niggas. That, well, then again, there's some niggas that had ghosts by the nuts, but he then flipped it on them niggas. But this nigga, Dre, this nigga look like he's scared shitless out this man is nigga. And it looks like, yo, little nigga, you, you reach a point where you got too big for your bridges type shit. You know what I mean? Because let's be honest, I don't see Dre taking the Jimenez niggas out. I see him taking out Cristobal. 
before he taking out Jimenez because that relationship ain't going to last too long. Dre is already power hungry, a power driven, a power struck. He's, he's too addicted to power already. The nigga is in a position I felt like he, like this is where he wanted to be in life. Like, yo, you could have killed that nigga that moment in the club before he went to go fuck that bitch that the Jimenez nigga demanded him to go do. Nigga ain't even going to tell a nigga. Nigga said, yo, as a reward. Yo, my nigga, how a nigga force feed you your reward, son? Like, that's not even a reward no more, my nigga. This feels like like a punishment or some shit. Like, this nigga's like, yo, for, for taking care of the business, go fuck this bitch. And then the nigga, like, he did some punk shit. The nigga took the bitch, and the nigga asked the bitch, so how much is it to tell a nigga, yo, son, that we fuck? She's like, yo, this nigga sniffed my pussy. Like, what the fuck? Yo, this nigga tweaking, son. At first, I thought this nigga was tweaking. Like, yo, he had this bitch eating his ass. While he was busting a bitch. And I don't even know if, like, the bitch... Is, you know I mean? Y'all niggas would be like, yo, son, she wasn't eating ass. Then what the fuck was she doing back there? On her knees, nigga? Was she was just sniffing his butt while he was fucking? That makes sense. Yo, that nigga... Yo, bro. My nigga. Them niggas give it up like that, my nigga. Like, nigga, that nigga had the whole... The, the salad and all that shit. The dressings tossed, nigga. While he was busting this bitch. And he had a nigga watching him get that... Yo, bro, that nigga's tweaking, son. Yeah, that shit's tweet. And then the nigga walking in the bathroom while Dre's busting his bitch like, yeah, now it's my turn to watch. The fuck you mean by it's your turn to watch, nigga? You, yo, bro, you are crazy, son. And that's when Dre, I guess, fucking grew his nuts and walked out that shit. Like, nigga, what the fuck? Like, at first, I thought Ghost was going to smoke that nigga. Like, I thought Ghost was waiting in the store for this nigga. Like, this nigga is Casper for real, bro. Yo, the nigga executed this shit. Dumb nice, my nigga. Like, how did you know he was about to fuck that bitch, bro? And just, but nope. Ghost did not do that. What did Ghost do? Ghost became fucking Superman. No, I have a Superman. Nigga became Deadpool over fucking night. Nigga took a shot of some fucking whiskey, some fucking, some, some, some Jack Daniels and shit. And then the nigga went on a motherfucking patrol and, yo, my nigga, I was, I, I was so let down because we see Ghost. Now, I mean, this nigga's displaying little, little little, tidbits of him really fucking with the alcohol. Again, he going through it. Now, I mean, and that's why he was trying to call fucking Angie the dust bucket. But this bitch is playing stupid. Like, my nigga, in, yo, in a sense, them niggas belong to each other because they both two dumb motherfuckers, my nigga. Tasha, Tasha just out here big hoe. Now, I mean, that's all. Tasha just big hoe. Speaking of Tasha big hoe, I'm thinking about dropping that Tasha analysis, nigga. Big hoe. Feel me? Let me know if y'all niggas want that video, son. Cause I feel like low key, Tasha ain't 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 too much. Ain't, ain't Tasha ain't fuck up. Tasha ain't fucked up at, at that much. No, I mean I don't feel like Tasha's to blame too much. You know what I mean? I feel like Tasha's cool, but this video ain't about no fucking Tasha. This video's about the fucking episode that just showed, my nigga. With that being said, my nigga, I think I'm gonna call that a wrap, my nigga. You know what I mean, As you can tell, I sound like well maybe. If you don't know, yeah, nigga a little tired and shit like that. So. But word, my nigga. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Appreciate it if you subscribe. Hit that like button if you fucking with it. If you don't, don't. I mean, leave a comment. I'm out of here like ball heads, my nigga. Big hoe.